hello guys and welcome to my channel today let's give some quick updates one of my favorite projects loom network that is seeking to build layer 2 scaling solution for the interior network and that raised i think 20 million dollars or something like that they are seeking to raise almost 120 thousand dollars to build the game why many people may be looking at it okay it's a way you will get this reward depending on how much you contribute like as you can see here ten dollars this is what you get twenty dollars is what you get thirty dollars fifty dollars seventy five and more i'm beginning to wonder and they give you this the specification of what their project is all about and uh, many other stuff but I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. First, is has it come to the point where what about the money that was raised? Because we should not be very excited that they are trying to create something. Yeah, they're trying to create something, yeah. But when did you raise let's go on ICO drops? And let's start Loom Network. So they did an ICO 11th of January. That was when the ICO ended. And they raised 45, almost 46 million dollars out of 57 million dollars. That is almost um, 10 million dollars short of and now they are trying to do something they are coming before kickstarter in order to get funds this is ridiculous this is ridiculous guys there are things in, there are things within the blockchain space that we have to understand that blockchain there is the tech there is the adoption and then there is the economics what has been done with it so you can actually read through it and know what the game detail is all about, but it's it's cost for concern. It's cost for concern. This money is to be, a company is to be raised. A company after you the, after they have raised funds at least January to now at least that is not even up to a half the year, just at the half of the year, and they're raising another money. It's cost for concern if. If we are just giving our money because we want to get things right on, we have to know that the consequences of these actions we affect every person. I personally have a large chunk. Uh, I have my investment in it. I recently sold. Then I'm waiting for. Uh, I saw that is it almost um, thirty something cents. I'm waiting for a kind of um, price pull down, maybe around. The price like maybe 20 cents or maybe two, between two, between 12 to 20 23 uh, 23 cents i'm looking to buy back and i, I really believe in this project but i get to see things like this it's it's it's, it's alarming and then moving on we have um exim chain export and import chain that are focused on the supply chain and is it uh, MIT Labs incubated program? They've announced there's an announcement that for you to run a master node in their test net is actually coming soon. For you to be able to run a master node, you need 1000 exemptions. So, 1000. So, study about the project if you're interested in the project. If you like the project, you can run a master node. There are services that will help you host the master node, then you could be. Um, you rent the service out and all that and then moving on we have the deep brain chain so the deep brain chain has actually launched their skynet uh, project and uh, i'll put the link these are the requirements for the the platform and these are the benefits and all that and then i don't have investment in this project I wish I invested maybe in the ICO. There is too much 
There are times you will miss some. There are times you invest in craft projects. There are times you invest in good projects. So, there was a delegate from the Ministry of Economy in the uh, in Luxembourg, a part of Europe. They actually visited the Shanghai office of vision to learn how um, this vision platform can be of use. And these are some of the things I like. Not when is the coin going up? When are you listening it on an exchange? No. Working with government institutions, working with the business partners. It's, it's very easy, right? Start working with uh, government. There is no way you can work with government if your project is not meeting regulation. Have a kind of incentive, just like you have the cryptocurrency exchange or platforms like Binance, yeah? your onboard users, those people, they get reward. Like Coinbase, you get 10, if you bring someone, you get 10%, the person gets, uh, the person get ten dollars. You get ten dollars. So if platform like this, oh, this 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 is a business. You onboard them, you get X percent of attraction within the system. It's going to grow like this. But if it's just, yeah, it's this. It's not going to be. Good. And then um, I'm seeing something within the crypto space. It's called labs binance launched its one billion dollars lab you are saying coinbase launched its own lab coinbase versions arrow have its own labs you are saying zilica launching its own lab you are saying matrix ai launching its own lab you are saying consensus kind of ethereum funding venture and then you have iCoiners. Listen, the platform that will survive. You're seeing Ripple donating $15 million to universities, I think over 10 universities. The platforms that will survive will not only have good tech, good tools. People need money to build tools. Yeah, people need money to build tools. You need to build SDKs, partnerships, this, 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 this. There has to be money. And that is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is finding it very, very, very hard to be adopted, to be, you know, for people to build rich solutions fast. Why? Because most of the people working on the Bitcoin project, there is no form of maybe labs that is actually compensating them. So if you are taking your time to actually work on Bitcoin, you're not, you're not getting compensated. You're only building it for the whole general good. But apart from like, okay, you're dedicating your time to build this project now. Okay, and you need to pay the rent, right? Those things are not the, those things are, there is no way to do it. So, and they are the, uh, the classic lab, we've been investing between 50 to $1, uh, $150,000 in startup, in exchange for 9% equity. I believe that the way funds are being done. Here is how, here is how um, fund we be. I'm not saying it will be, but I think so. And it's very, very profitable. Now you, you, you saw the issue with um, Loom Network, platform that raised 50, uh, is it 47 uh, million dollars, coming to raise almost $120,000 for what? Now, here is how it's gonna be. People will be raising, uh, uh, raising funds in stages. In the venture world, depending on how many stages, so let's say stage A, the first stage, the first stage is called A, then another stage B, and depending on how much run. So that's how blockchain is going to be. Okay, you come, they give you between five, uh, 50, 50,000 to 100, or depending on the, um, the, the incubator, some could give one million, but that's two million and all that. So we give you X, Y, Z amount of money. You come, you present your report. Yeah, this is what was given. This is how we spend the money. This is where we are now and all that. Okay, 
this is where we are going. This is there has to be accountability. Not the one people just give them fifty million, and then the next day they list it on five exchange Binance, KuCoin, this, 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 and then the price goes up. And those who invested yesterday take that money off. And what's the next one? They go. They raised ten billion dollars already. And nothing is going on. What's the next thing on the line? So the next thing on the line is Microsoft has actually acquired GitHub for $7.5 billion. And there have been a lot of concern with the crypto space like, oh, it's all stand against everything the decentralized world uh, stand for. And I see something within the crypto space. For crying out loud, Facebook, Twitter, any company out there, they have, it's their company. Though they are users, they can decide how they want to run their company. If you don't like it, you go. It's very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. The iPhone is not made for every person. Yeah. There are phones, there are phones that says for uh, the, 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 uh, the iPhone could buy maybe five or six type of uh, uh, different types of phone, but you're going to use to buy one. You have companies like um, that produce car like Lamborghini, Ferrari, very kind of expensive cars. Uh, it, maybe the worth of that car could purchase, let's say, 15 different cars. They were not saying, oh, you're not going to go to the store and say, why are you selling this car at such an exorbitant price? Why is it so high? No. If you don't like it, if it's not for you, if it does not suit you, you go. You go to another place. That is what it, we have. We have 7 billion people on the planet. GitHub is a business. Yeah. GitHub is a business. Facebook, for example, people are complaining Facebook is not good, this and that. Question is, do you pay for Facebook? So if you're not paying for Facebook, how do you expect Facebook to continue its service? How do you expect Facebook to pay these workers? How do you expect Facebook to keep their, their service up and running? Oh, this and that. It's very simple. If you don't like the Microsoft acquiring the day, go and create your own or switch to another service. It's simple. It's simple. How many people are, how many people are using? How many times people have told, oh, this one is the decentralized Twitter. How many people are using it? That is why crypto is down. Nobody is using it. Today now, I'm about to go out now to go and make Porsches to buy food. That was what I was uh, wanting to do before I did uh, before I started making this video. Now, what will I be using to buy the food? Fiat. And you want tomorrow now? This. What am I using my Bitcoin for? Why? What, all the cryptos I have. What am I using them for? Instead, I'm not trading them. I'm just keeping them. And then expecting one day that there will be a surge in price. No. And that is what other people do. So, Git is a decentralized technology. It allows people to keep track of, it's, it's, it's something called uh, fashion control. So a group of individuals or a team could be working on a project and they could be monitoring how a project, uh, how the, uh, uh, the, the changes that is being made to the project. It's like, you have a spreadsheet. There is a way you could, um, if you if you if you if you are more in advance working with spreadsheets like SA and all that, it's a way you could actually know when changes are being made to a work. What was the changes? What time was the, what time was the change? And many others. So the Git is basically a kind of system that keeps track of what changes we done and the, like a version control and all that. It's an example, a quick example of Git is like your, how do I get this?
a, a quick example is like the folders. When you make changes to um, the, your, your system, oh, this is a file. It tells you the last updated like yesterday. If yesterday was when you did, that is, that is a kind of basic explanation of um, uh, a change you you did to your um, um, system. And then uh, another good example is of of Git. Um, maybe if you're very technical, you know about the stuff. You could actually help me out. Now another good uh, example is uh, it's like a folder. How a folder is being structured. Now you you see something like um, your folder. This is like this is this is a folder now. So like this. Oh, this you this this link 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 link. Why? Because when you're working on the uh, so, so, um, I, I don't know about software anymore. Anyway, but when you're working on software, maybe the software could be one hundred or one thousand different parts. You like I, I know a little about um, web programming. How do you program uh, CSS and uh, HTML? Now there are times, let's say you're you're trying to program a list, or you're trying to program a table, or you're trying to program this there are times you want to separate the list you want in a file and all that so git is basically a kind of protocol that help a team of developers who are working on different aspects of the software who to keep control of the code it's like code version control i hope i'm not fumbling so github is basically we all know what a hub is the kind of place where people can actually come meet and do things so not just a hub, but a kind of GitHub. So there are many concerns like, okay, Microsoft could, because Microsoft is not, there is not the issue of governance and moderation. Okay. Um, something might, there are accounts that have been taken down, like say on Facebook, on Twitter and all that. There is a burning because it's platform. So there is a concern like, oh, Microsoft could have so much power. We're having decentralized world. What about if they take down, start taking down code basics and content and all that? And then, or maybe we are building uh, systems where, like you can see with the, like China, for example, if you are trying to submit an app to an Apple store, if it evaluates the China, Chinese law, it's not going to be accepted. Or if it should uh, evaluate some guidelines, it's not going to be accepted. So, what is basically, uh, what is a, uh, what they basically trying to do? It's very very simple. I'm basically bringing a system here. They are saying Microsoft. Oh, sorry. They're basically saying oh, Microsoft could battle pressure from government, or they themselves could censor it. But if you look at Microsoft, they are one of the uh, people who use this stuff more than now uh, anyone else though there are many um there are many other versions we have beats bucket and then you can literally search uh, uh google for other types okay you have gitlab you have source uh source uh source forge and then there are others or you can simply create your own um kind of service to Start. If you don't like it, you, you, you switch over. That is, that is the world. Now there is a report that says around five percent of all Monero that is circulating around now has been mined using malware. Now, if you look at how malware actually get into system, I'm not technical, but there are things like the issue of free. When you are entering websites, you're giving them your things. Oh, sign up on the, uh, submit your email for maybe airdrop, bouncing, or maybe for a newsletter for XYZ. You're clicking on ads. It's good. And then visiting obscene websites, like, um pornographic websites gambling websites um certain part of the dark web uh using free live uh free football live streaming services 
like maybe uh, VIP uh, balls, uh, first rows to stream football and all that. Basically, using services like um, let me. We are talking about platform like um, Pirate be using those kind of bit storing stuff and all that. As far as you're getting free access to content that you should have paid for, you risk you risk getting your system hacked. There are ways to do it, and then. As you can see, this is the report. So you want to be very, very careful. Then clicking on certain kind of ads. We have advertising. So when you browse through websites, there is something called cookies. So cookies is kind of um how would I put it? Is this something like an a safe learning form of uh, piece of software that stores your interaction with a particular website and helps you helps gives a personalized content the next time you visit the website so it's like you visit a restaurant and then you're the kind of person that likes xyz drink so the waiters already if the let if the, if the waiter the waiters already know that you your preference is xyz type of drink and they say okay um when it once it comes just give him this drink that is how so the cookie could store your password that you don't need to actually log in most times it could store certain behavior you know that and then it can also store your information and someone could actually get access to it so we're living in a world where there is a transitioning from the physical crime. That doesn't mean people are not committing physical crime to online war, online crime. So these are many things you should look at. With that being said, be safe.